was here so all zip files got unzipped successfully so here after all files got unzipped we should get the message like this see here all files have been unzipped successfully stage area is confirmed confirmed to be completed so this is the message using this message we can identify that uh, stage was created still few more steps are there after that uh, this is the automatically you will get the output so after that you will be going to get the message like this press enter to continue just you have to hit the enter button here so again here we got the same message like press enter to continue no need to do anything just you have to hit the enter button so again it will be asking you press enter to continue just you have to hit the enter button so again it will be going to ask you have to hit the enter button so again it will be going to ask press enter to continue just you have to hit the enter button here so now copy patches to existing stage area because create new stage area has been successfully completed now we have to press 2 copy the patches to the existing stage area 2 so for which platform that is for linux so 2 press continue just hit the enter button again enter again enter button now by default here it is 4 4 means exit the menu so your stage is completed successfully okay now the next prerequisite step is you have we have to install the rpms what we have to do we have to install the rpms so my rpms is under windows operating system i have to get it into the linux machine so these are the steps i have to go into the vm settings options share folder always enable add next browse so i saved the rpms in this directory under d so under d akram folder inside that apps stages 12.1 rpms so the same rpms i will be going to use for 12.1 as well as 12.2 so as i told you so our uh, uh, stage creation is successfully completed okay now go into the u02 directory let's check the size here du hyphen sh stage 12.2 So it will be around 42 GB. It will be around 42 GB. So it will be around 42 GB. So now I have to share the RPMs. So already just before I have shared the RPM. So whatever we are going to share from Windows to Linux, we will be going to get under MNT slash GFS. So this is the folder just now I have shared. So let's go into this folder. So again, go into this RPM underscore plugins folder. Again, go into this RPMs folder. So now LS. Now start applying the RPMs. So what is the total path? So this is my total absolute path for RPMs. So let's start applying each one by one, one all the RPMs. So this is the first RPM I will be applying here. Hyphen hyphen force I have to add hyphen hyphen no depths means to avoid the dependency 
we have to give no debts in case if this rpm has been applied already in that case we have to give hyphen hyphen force so this is the expected one we will be going to get the warning we uh, we can ignore this warning so now i will be going to apply the second rpm if an icon force icon icon no gaps so then i will be going to apply the third rpm icon icon force icon icon no gaps means no gaps means no dependency so this is the fourth rpm i will be going to apply so this fourth rpm is gre rpm which is going to take a uh, quite long time okay so it has to install the gre means java so it has to deliver the java related files and directory structures Hyphen force, hyphen hyphen, no depths. Then another RPM I will be going to apply now. rpm hyphen ivh name hyphen hyphen force hyphen hyphen no depths means no dependency rpm hyphen ivh hyphen hyphen force hyphen hyphen no depths means no dependency so we have to make sure that we are not missing any rpm So this is my last RPM. So all RPMs have been applied. Now let's follow this document. Okay. 
So here I have given the steps how to apply the RPMs as well as I have shown you the practical also how to apply. So all these things I have done it. Now after applying the RPMs, I have to open this file using VA editor which file slash etc slash sysctl.conf and then I have to add a few parameters into this uh, file. So this is the existing file. So don't make it modification in the existing file. Let's go to the end of the file. So go to the right side, go into the insert mode. Now paste it here. Now copy these lines. Now save and quit from this file. Now we have similar type of multiple files will be there. We have to do it modification before installing the EDS. So go to the end of this file. Now go into the insert mode. Then copy paste these lines. Now save and quit. So there will, be, there will be one more line is there, one, one more file is there. Going, uh, so this line we have to remove using dd command I can remove. Then go into the insert mode by pressing A means alphabet A. Then copy paste these two lines. Now save and quit here. So after this, now I want to check while installing the Linux, what machine name for this Linux machine, what name I have given and what IP address I have given. So cross check with the help of neat command, I can cross check. So at the time of Linux installation, what IP address I have given to check the IP address after uh, uh, need command after going into the need command. So double click here. So the IP address I have given as 192.168.1.1. So then how to find out the machine name. So cancel here, go to the DNS. I have given the machine name as apps.dba.com. So close this window. So now we have to go into this file vi slash etc slash post file. So after going into this file, so overall four entries will be there in this file. So don't make, don't do anything for first line and second line, okay? So in third line, we have to make some modifications. I will do it. So fourth line, totally I have to remove. So to remove the fourth line, totally, we, we have to keep the cursor in the fourth line and we have to press DD. Now go into the insert mode. Right now we have only three lines. In third line, so we have to remove this apps.dba.com space apps. This section, we have to remove it. So after removing this section, it, it should be like this. 127.0.0.1 localhost.local .local domain space localhost. Ideally, it should be like this. Now go into the end of this line and hit the enter button. Then what IP address you have given at the time of installation. Okay, in case if you have forgot, you have to find it out using the NIT command. So I have given the IP address as 192.168.1.1. Then what is the machine name I have given? apps.dba.com. If you not remember, you can able to check it from the root user with the help of NIT command. apps.dba.com I have given apps.dba.com let's give few spaces here and type here apps so this is my ip address and this is my machine name and this is my short name short name means whatever the machine name you have given the first digit you have to add here short name means it's called as alias name now save and quit here so so after making the changes so this is the it should look like this 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 file should look like this, okay? 
now service network restart now post name to check the machine name host name hyphen i to check the ip address host name hyphen a to check the alias name after all this so inside this file we have to make sure that networking is yes so by default in this file it will be there just we have to cross check so how to cross check like this so we have to make sure this networking is equals to yes got it So after that, go into this directory and check if the network file is there inside this directory. We have to delete that file. If not there, ignore it. Network file is not there. So just ignore it. If exists, delete it. I mean delete means remove it. If not exist, no need to worry. Okay, don't get panic. Okay. Now now go into mnt slash hgfs directory ls now go into this rpms directory so after that again go into the rpms directory again go into the rpms directory so now we have to go inside this patch so this is the operating system patch or we can also call it as a plugin also so here we will be going to get two files here Two files will be going to get what are those two files let me show you ls so these are the two files now this file we have to copy into the linux file system means uh, into the linux we have to copy so how to copy let me show you like this we have to copy so i have copied successfully after that so whether it got copied or not so as a part of evidence i will be checking so this is the expected output we should get so like this we have to check this file exists or not by default it will be there so what we have to do this is called soft link we will be checking for this file for this file and this file will be referring to one more file okay using this arrow that's called soft link so this soft link we have to break so how to break the soft links using the unlink command now as per our ebs requirement we have to make the soft link this is the command to make the soft link ln hyphen s is the linux command which is used to make it is used to create soft link so how to cross check now soft link created or not this is the command see here soft link got created that's all now coming to the user management so to install the 12.2. R12.2.0 software, we require the OS users we require. Okay. So for that, okay, now we are proceeding with user management. So for that, so let me check whether Oracle user exists or not. Cat slash etc slash PSSWD pipe grip pipe grip Oracle. So user exists. In case check for Apple MJ, is it exist or not? It's not exist. Okay, so I will be deleting the existing user so that I can show you how to create the user. <clears throat> pipe grip dba so group del dba now let me create one new group 
group add DBA user add hyphen G DBA hyphen D slash U01 slash home hyphen M Oracle. So here I will be changing the name as Apple MGR and here mount point I will be giving U02. So this Oracle user is, I, I have created this Oracle user for DB tier. So this second user, Apple MGR, I have created for application tier. Now we have to give the ownership for both Oracle and Apple MGR. I'll give it I've done wrong here. Ownership for Apple MGR, I have to give on U02. MCHMOD hyphen R double seven five slash U01 slash home, then U02 home. Then uh, now once uh, restart the machine, because we have did so many changes here in newly stage, newly stage got created. Uh, we have applied the RPMs and we have did so many changes under so many Linux configuration files, okay, to get it effect. So once better to restart the Linux machine, to restart the Linux machine, init six is a Linux command. So meanwhile, let's cover this thing, what we have covered share ebs zip files from windows to linux completed how to create the stage it is also got completed applying rpms applying rpms now then share rpms share rpms from windows to linux we have completed this part we have completed this part. <clears throat> After that, apply RPMs. Apply RPMs. So we have completed this part also. So apart from that, make necessary changes. Make necessary changes in Linux configuration files, Linux configuration files. So this part also we have completed. After that, uh, creating, creating OS group, OS users, ownership, permissions we have we have completed this part also so apart from that now restart the restart the linux machine so right now it is in progress so i will mention as completed So all these steps, okay, all these steps I have mentioned in this document, okay. Now my machine got restarted.
now I will be going to install the EBS software. So where is my EBS software? It is under U02 mount point. So let's go into the U02 mount point. So we have to go into this directory. Then start CD. Then disk one. Then rapid this. Then dot slash. This this is the set of file we have to execute. Now hit the enter button now. <coughs> Now the EBS installation is going to begin now. So Oracle EBS suit released release 12.2.0. So we will be installing. So we have to press here next. So we have to go with first option that is install Oracle eBusiness suit 12.2.0. So we have to uncheck this, then proceed with next. So we will be going to get the warning. We have to press on yes. Then uh, we have to go with create a new configuration next. So here global system settings. This is uh, this is something related to port pool. So port pool means so at the time of EBS installation, multiple EBS services is going to multiple EBS services will be uh, will be configured. For example, Apache, OA Core, Farm, OAFM, OPM, and database listener like that. These are these all are the application. These are the services which we will get through installation. For each and every service, there will be unique four digits port number will be there. So these are the by default, these are the unique port numbers. So so in R12.2, we will be going to get two file systems in application tier. So zero means we will be going to get all services will be going to use the default port number. So the port pool range starts from zero to 99, it up to us. So based on our uh, requirement, we have to select the port pool. For example, if I'm going to select here, Two means what is the default number for listener database listener? What is the default number? 1521 default port number. So 1521 plus two. What will be the account? 1524. That 1524 will be assigned for the database listener. Okay. CF 1521 plus two means uh, it will be going to get it increased like this. So I will go with uh, default. Uh, for file system one zero and for the file system one i will go with one now next so here database node configuration this is very very important so here by default it is a vision database and the sid is v vls so here we have to drag down instead of vision we have to select fresh database here after clicking to the fresh database this is the database sid this is my machine name and this is my domain name. So I want to create the fresh database under Oracle user for this Oracle user while creating the user what I have assigned primary group as DBA. Okay, but uh, and uh, directory path what I have given, let me show you. So directory I have given as u01 slash home while creating this Oracle user but here it has taken as d01 slash oracle so what we have to do under under base directory base under database base directory remove this entire field remove this entire field okay after that what i have to add here slash u01 slash home okay so in uh, in on the next field database home directory U01 home 1210 and here it will be U01 home data. So anyhow, we are not going to touch these two fields. Just here we have to make the changes. Now we have to go with next. So by default, it is a suit licensing. We have to just press next. 
so here no changes no need to make any changes just we have to press on next so here also no changes just we have to go with next so here database character set we have to drag down here okay scroll down here from the last second option utf8 it's related to languages utf8 means so later on uh, so all languages it will this character set will be going to support support almost all languages so as of now i will be going to implement only english language going forward if i want to implement any other language also if you are using this character set it will be very easy to implement it okay so next so application primary application node configuration this is the uh, second most important step in the ebs installation here what i have to do while creating this apple mgr user apple mgr user what i have created the base directory what i have assigned as u02 home but here it has taken wrong as u01 home so here just instead of one just make it two that's all that's all okay here instead of one where under this field bear apps base directory instead of one you have to put here two then uh, all the all below fields will get it changed automatically so next <clears throat> now here application user information so in 12.2 our application server is weblogic server earlier in previous versions it is oc4j in latest version that is 12.2 web uh, this oc4j got replaced with weblogic server so for weblogic server we have one administration user is there what is that username weblogic for that weblogic user what password would you like to give it's up to you but the prerequisite is the password should be six digits length so i will be going to give as weblogic1 then again i need to repeat that password weblogic1 so i will i have given the entire password in lower case only so here apps os user for apple mgr so i didn't configure the password for this apple mgr so what i will be going to do let's open a new terminal so here in new terminal passwd apple mgr to assign some pass to assign password for apple mgr this is a command so i will be going to put the password as apple mgr so password got changed so now come to this terminal so here i will be going to give the same password here so here uncheck this one so it should be like this now press on next so here no changes just we have to press on next now it will go for system check
See here, two things got failed here. So one is Oracle base validation and the second one is file system. So this file system will be going to fail. This is the expected one. This is expected one, okay? So why did it got fail? You wants to check. So what to check, you have to click here. Into this X mark, you have to click. So here it will show you the reason why did it got fail. So scroll down, scroll, scroll down slowly, very, very step by step. Go it slowly, you will come to know what is the reason behind it got failed. So this is the error. Central inventory does not exist. Skipping the central inventory check. That's the reason it got failed. So what you have to do, you have to create the inventory file. You have to create the inventory file. So how to create here? So these are the steps it has given here. So for this, I have a fix. Already I have kept the fix in a document. So this is okay. Now come to the terminal, the root terminal. Okay. So how to fix? So in my in my practical document, I have kept the solution. go into this directory ls now you have to create a new file under etc directory so under this new file we have to put these two lines we have to put these two lines so let's remove this space So it should be ideally like this. Now save and quit here. After that, go into U01 home. Then we have to create one new directory with this name. So we have to use the same name names. 
so it already exists so no worry just go into this directory now ls nothing is there we have to create one file here we have to create one file here now go into the insert mode and we inside this file we have to put these two lines we have to put these two lines now save and quit here save and quit here now we have to give the ownership and permission so how to give ownership this is the command after that we have to give permission so how to give the permission this is the command so we have done all the missing steps now go to the ebs software now here just press retry now let me check why did uh, this got failed here oracle based directory 01 home should be owned by oracle provide a different oracle based directory ignoring this warning will be result in here in issues during the rack installation oracle based validation completed Now let's click here on retry.
so all got successful except this uh, requires review oracle based user home should be owned by oracle provide a different so see here uh, anyhow we are right now we are not implementing rack so anyhow i think we can skip it so no worries so let me proceed with next yes no again we have to press next yes Now it will be going to take around eight hours. For me, last time it has taken eight hours. Last to last time it has taken me around twelve hours. Based on your system speed, depends on your system configuration. So this EBS twelve dot two installation has to go through into the eight phases. Eight phases it has to go through. So one of eight is completed. Now it uh, started two of eight. So one of eight, it took around 45 minutes for me. So let's see uh, two of eight, how much time it will take. So restoring database via Armen. So this step number two uh, started at around uh, 5 p.m. Now it was uh, 7.15 p.m. means almost two hours, 15 minutes. Uh, two hours, 15 minutes has been taken. So still it uh, but got completed only 12% because see here what here it's showing, restoring the database via Armen. So it has to restore 60 GB data it has to restore from the software to our file system so it will be going to take here a lot of time so <clears throat> one of eight two of eight three of eight is completed now four of eight is in progress. <clears throat> 